Hey y'all, I'm Rylan. Welcome to my channel. Yesterday afternoon, I officially arrived in Nashville. If you've watched any of my last couple of videos, you might have seen or heard me mention, yeah, that I was moving, that I am moving, that I did move to Nashville for grad school. Got a job down here as well, so I'll be working and going to school. The school doesn't start for a couple more weeks, which is nice. Uh, my job does start tomorrow, so I'm taking my last free day of the summer to go exploring a little bit and to do some book shopping in Nashville. Now, because I am still very, very, very new to the area where I'm living, I'm not quite sure what all is around here in terms of bookstores. I know of the chain stores. There's a Barnes & Noble, there's a Books a Million, and there's a Half Price Books all within 20 minutes of my apartment, which is really good and also really bad. But I want to do some more research on indie bookstores. So stay tuned for another vlog um, where I go shopping at those stores probably in a couple of weeks, maybe a month or two, just depending on my schedule, how much time I have, want to get a couple of paychecks first as well, just so I can start saving up some money. But I do want to do another book shopping vlog focused on indie bookstores in the upcoming future. So keep an eye out for that. I just have no idea where they are um, or what, like how many or like what the names of the stores are currently. So I want to do some research on that. But today I wanted to do a little bit of an ease into Nashville living. It is a really big city. There's lots of people, lots of cars. Ouch. And it makes me nervous. So I'm just going to go to the chain bookstores. I already knew that they um, were around here before I moved down. The Half Price Books is three minutes from my apartment, which is really good. And again, also really bad for my bank account. But I don't want to think about that currently. So the way that I'm thinking of doing this right now, we're gonna to go to Half Price Books, then we're gonna to go to Books A Million, and then we're going to end at Barnes & Noble. My goal is to not buy a ton of books. I don't need to go overboard. I literally have a ton of books sitting right here, but we'll see what ends up happening, but I'm not planning to go overboard. There is one book that I do plan to keep an eye out for, which is, um, it's actually a nonfiction memoir, I believe, um, by Jeanette McCurdy, I believe is her last name. She wrote a memoir about her time as an actress on Nickelodeon and her relationship with her mom. I don't read a ton of nonfiction, but I did watch this actress in iCarly, Sam and Cat, and I'm very much interested in hearing more of her story. Um, I've kind of seen her videos pop up where she's been on podcasts or like talk shows and sharing little bits and pieces. I think it was published today actually, so I'm hoping that most bookstores have it in stock. I don't know why they wouldn't. I just have no idea what the selection of books is going to look like in Nashville. One can only hope that it's amazing because big city, but I could also be sorely disappointed. Who knows what'll happen? So. I'm done babbling. This is not a me talking video. This is a you watching me buy books video. So yeah, we're getting ready. I am all ready to go. Got my bag ready. We're gonna head out and our first stop is going to be Half Price Books. <laughs> Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Got a build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into this place You wanna love me? Well then baby, I have a taste All the highs and the lows no, you'll 
I'll never be the same I don't really wanna hurt you But I can't control the pain If you're sticking by my side Maybe we could be okay Okay, okay Maybe you could be the change I need today I promise that I've never felt this way I really hope that you Will choose to stay Through all the pain I know you told your friend You're not okay And tell me what's wrong And why you never said You felt that way Try to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to gray As you fade away As you fade away Okay y'all, I'm at my last stop, which is Barnes & Noble Not gonna lie, not super impressed with half price But I found two historical romances, so it's fine we're at Barnes & Noble, we'll see what goes on here. Um, but yeah, honestly, I have no idea if this is going to be a good book shopping vlog, but it's fine, we're gonna go for it. I'm gonna put it all together and see what happens. But yeah, I will update you all when I get back to my apartment now, um, tell you more in depth what the books I got were, tell you more in depth about the books that I got, and yeah, so I'll talk to y'all in a little bit. <laughs> All right, y'all, I'm back from book shopping. I ate lunch and I'm here to wrap up, yeah, this video. So I think in my very last clip, I may or may not have scanned the book section at Target. I had to go to Target after book shopping to grab something for work. And so I stopped by the book section. I didn't get anything there, but I did succumb to the cuteness of something else. So while I was in Target, I bought two little Squishmallows and I am in love with them. <laughs> anyway, so this is a shark. So cute, I'm in love. It's like, I think this is with their mini version. Um, so her name is Sachi, I don't know. And then this little dino, his name is Gerald. <laughs> I am in love with them both very much and I'm very excited to add them, not to my collection because I don't have one, but to add them to my giant stingray that I already have. So these, yeah, not books, but I still wanted to show them because they're adorable. So now going through the books that I got at each place. We'll start with half price. I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't super impressed. Yeah, I think I mentioned that earlier with what they had. Um, I was kind of confused as to like the genre layout and it was really hard to find the books that I normally go for, but I did buy two historical romances. This is by Elizabeth Lowell. Both of them are. I read the first book, which was called, I forget what it was called. Maybe like Enchanted or so, no, that's this one. 
what was the name of the book that I read by Untamed. So the first book in this trilogy is a historical romance called Untamed. I read that last year and it was fine. I gave it three stars, but the book is beautiful. The step back is stunning. So when I saw books two and three in, ooh, wow, that one has a big shine. Oh, so does that one. Okay, anyway, so when I saw them at half price, of course, you know, super cheap. I grabbed them. I do have the one that I've read by this author somewhere. I think I brought it with me to Nashville. I'm pretty sure I did. So these are the two books that I got at half price. Both of them have stunning step backs. I think this Enchanted, Enchanted is the second one. Yeah, so beautiful step back. So this is the second book and then uh, Forbidden is the third book in the trilogy. These are like medieval, um, yeah, medieval historical romances. So that was half price. And then after I went to half price, I went to Books a Million. And I was going to look for romance too, but I didn't really end up doing that. I got very focused on finding Jeanette McCurdy's new book, which is called I'm Glad My Mom Died. This is, is memoir the right word or is it autobiography? I think it's memoir. I don't know. It's nonfiction. It tells the story of her life, her relationship with her mom, and how not good it was. It tells talks about her eating disorders and her struggle with acting um, and like her feelings on it as she was growing up. And I've been wanting to read this since I heard Jeanette talk about it. I don't know. I saw it in a video on social media. I don't know if it was for a podcast or a talk show or what, but. I knew I wanted to read it when she was talking about and kind of promoting the book, so I grabbed it. I'm expecting, yeah, for this to be a hard read, um, but something that is very valuable and something that I can learn from. And I also got volume four of Heartstopper. Don't ask me why, because I don't have volumes two or three yet, um, but I do have volume one. I have already read volume four. I read it from my library um, earlier this year and I loved it. So I'm excited to add this one to my collection. It is so much thicker than volume one. It's crazy to me. Anyway, I will eventually grab three, two and three. They didn't have volume two in stock and the only copy of volume three that I could find, the spine was ripped on the top and I was like, I'd rather just wait to find a better looking copy than to buy that one. So also grabbed this. I love the Heartstopper graphic novels. I loved the Netflix show. I watched it like the week it came out and it was awesome. So that was my Books a Million haul. I was really impressed with the layout of that store. It was just one huge square, very well organized. I really enjoyed it. Uh, they did have some good romance on their shelves or on their book talk table, but I ended up not getting any. Although I was very much thinking about something that I saw on those tables. And then finally, I went to Barnes and Noble and I got some manga. Let's move up a little bit. So I think when I was in Books A Million, I had a clip with a spy classroom in it. I almost bought this book there, but I put it back and grabbed it at Barnes and Noble instead just because, yeah, I chose to do that. So this is manga about a world torn apart by war and ruled by intelligence. Um, and then there's this girl named Lily and she wants to become like a master spy. She's offered like a job or like a secret mission, um, but it finds out that she's working with all of the spy academy washouts, which she is one as well. So it's like, can these washouts save the world or whatever? So that one sounded really good. I also got Tokyo Ghoul Volume 2. I did have this one on my shelf for a long time, but I ended up selling it because I didn't think I'd ever read it, I guess. Um, or I, I was just trying to unhaul a bunch of stuff, save some money, um, especially since I didn't have a job, like a permanent job at the time or a consistent job, I should say. So I sold this copy, got a new one at Barnes & Noble and I'm excited for it. I read Volume 1 a couple days ago and gave it five stars, which is why I was excited to find they had one volume two or one copy of volume two in stock. This is about a boy who is half ghoul, half human after he almost dies and gets a transplant where they put the organs of the ghoul into his body. He doesn't know that he's a ghoul for a while. The doctors had no idea that the transplant was like done with a ghoul. And yeah, so this just kind of continues uh, the main character's story and I'm excited for it. And then finally, I got 
and I'm going to butcher this name, Watakwe, um, Love is Hard for Otaku. This is, I think, two volumes in one. Yeah, I think this is considered shoujo manga. I could be wrong. I don't know all the specific terms yet. I'm still very new to the manga genre, I would say. But I did get this one. Again, I did have this book at, as well at some point, but I sold it when I was trying to save some money. But now that I have a job, yay. I went ahead and bought this one again because it sounds so cute and I've had multiple friends read it and they've enjoyed it. So I got this one as well. This is about, um, I'm just going to read part of the back. Narumi has had it rough. Every boyfriend she's had has dumped her once they found out she was an otaku. So she's gone to great lengths to hide it. When a chance meeting at her new job with childhood friend, fellow otaku, and now co-worker almost gets her secret out of at work, she comes up with a plan to make sure he never speaks up. But he comes up with a counter-proposal. Why doesn't she just date him instead? In love, there are no save points. It sounds so cute, so fun, so I'm excited. I always use the word excited when it comes to talking about books, but I am excited. I'm looking forward to reading this. I've heard amazing things. I think there's six volumes out right now, so I'll slowly start collecting them. Buying these three manga definitely has helped my little collection grow. I'm so happy to have these on my shelves and cannot wait to read all of them soon. So these are the books that I got at Burns Noble, which was my last stop. So yeah, I spent some money today. But it's fine because I'm not going to for a couple of weeks now. I said in my mid-year freakout tag that I was going to stop buying books. But then I found a job. So like, it's fine. It balances out a little bit. Um, definitely not going to go overboard. I am at the stage in my life where I would like to be saving up good money. Um, especially looking toward the future. But I think I'm okay. So... This is my little book haul for my first full day in Nashville. Definitely a manga graphic novel. Um, yeah, day plus a nonfiction, which is something I hardly ever purchase. But regardless, I'm looking forward to all of these books and cannot wait to slowly get to them. Hopefully the manga will be easy to read, but we'll see when I can get to I'm glad my mom died. Yay! Thank you all so much for following me on this book shopping vlog. I hope you saw something that you might want to add to your collection or something that you've already read. If you have read something that you saw in my video and want to comment down below and tell me to read it, feel free to do so. I love adding new books to my TBR. I'm excited to be living in Nashville. I'm excited to continue exploring some more indie bookstores in the next couple of weeks and or months. Uh, but yeah, so, I think that's all I have for this video. Keep an eye out for that indie book shopping vlog to hopefully come out, I don't know, before the end of this year for sure. We'll see when I end up doing that. But yes, thank you all so much for watching this video and I will see you all in the next one.